Secret 20. It costs more later. Our sister queens before us plan far enough ahead to maximize their busy hives and keep their babies fed. They plan by asking questions, six ways of seeing facts, perspectives brought together that show the path to act. How many flowers are blooming? How far must we fly from our bank? Which bees need to be working to store the most sunlight in our tank? How will we get to the nectar? What are the best paths to fly? This leads to the last perspective, the one that shows us why. The answer is very simple. We see in sunset's glow. When we eat our honey, sunlight powers what we know. The sunlight we all gather shares the energy around. It powers all our work and dreams with the nectar we have found. When we borrow from the future, our babies pay the debt. Running out of honey is a natural bee-made threat. Does the value of the honey always equal what it costs? It's expensive to hurt nature. Honey spent is honey lost. And secret 20, it costs more later, is about the idea that when we borrow money from the future, as human beings, with the idea that somehow we'll pay it back later. It only costs more later because of the concept of, of compound interest. And so what we're doing is by kicking the can down the road, by consuming all this energy now, and by polluting the way we're polluting now, we're just increasing the cost it's gonna take to fix all this stuff later. Thinking about the long-term survival of future generations, we're creating a situation where there's not gonna be enough money to undo the damage we did. There's gonna be a point when there's just, there doesn't exist enough energy on earth to undo the damage that we did. So the longer it takes for us to figure this out and the longer it takes for us to, to create systems and solutions that don't destroy everything, the more it's gonna cost. So we might as well get started now. Secret 21, honey is survival.